but let's see if I can record this video without my cat's ass being in my face. <sighs> Nobody wants to see that and you stink. Go away. I've got something to say. I'm trying to talk to my peoples here, okay? Okay. But before I get started, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. I hope your day is as good as it can be. I hope it's just wonderful and dandy. I'm, uh, I'm in my PJs. Okay, I'll get to what I gotta say. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, let's get it. Well, there is some stuff that has uh, recently happened. And if you keep up with things like I do, then you know what's going on. So I don't have to backtrack. It's plain and obvious. So, you know who I always discuss about, talk about, support highly. And it is, that's our man, Ryan Upchurch. Mr. Upchurch. I just love that fella. You can tell a good one when you see one. And I don't give a damn if anybody agrees. You can just tell, like his mama said, you can read people. And when you can read people, man, you don't get yourself caught up in anything. You really don't. So the drama that is going on, because it's, I mean, it's drama, but it's not necessarily, it's understandable. It's understandable why our man Ryan is upset. And if y'all don't know why he's upset, let me try to explain it as good as I can get. Okay, I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll say it because you, you know that your girl um, does not have a filter and I don't care to say what is on my mind. <clears throat> Again, about got choked up on my sinuses. Boy, this weather change is really just, you know, I hope everybody is okay because, I mean, this weather change, I love it, but my... Allergies definitely acts up in this weather change. But anywho, why are you procrastinating on talking about this? I'm not procrastinating. I'm just making sure I have everybody's undivided attention. Okay? Let me have your attention. Junebug Court is now in session. So as you know, if you've been following, you have noticed that somebody made a deal with somebody and let me tell you what that deal is mr chase matthew signed with someone signed with a record meaning he is no longer going to be an independent artist that Without Mr. Upchurch, nobody would have known who he was. And that's facts. Now, are you talking bad about Chase Matthew, Junebug? Because you know Junebug, he just loves him. Hell yeah, she does. No, I'm not talking bad about Mr. Chase Matthew. Oh, hell, we knew you was going to throw a butt into it. Well, but, let me say this. Without Mr. Upchurch signing him, letting him be the earner, the main earner, or the main maker of all of his financial, I guess, dreams, as we should put it. Dreams. So, yeah. Mr. Matthew, you're going to regret that. You are going to regret it. Because when you realize you're doing all of the hard work and you're having to pay people out of the money that you earned, you're just the middleman. And nobody likes the middleman. We like to knock the middleman out. Are you saying you're going to knock somebody out? No, I'm not going to knock anybody out. But everything that Mr. Upchurch has helped 
Mr. Matthew with. Now, Mr. Matthew, he is very talented. He sings very well. I've had the privilege and the honor to see him in concert. As seeing Mr. Upchurch in concert. And Mr. Upchurch is right. The only thing that you see there is more money. It's just about the money. And when you're about money constantly, yeah, we need it to survive. But yeah, you're going to find out that being signed to someone that does not give a shit about you at all You, you can't go back to where you were. And that's being an independent artist. You're not going to be able to do that anymore. Now that you've signed a contract to someone else, you signed your life over to someone else instead of having your life in your own hands. That is rude, disrespectful, and makes no sense. If someone ever gave me the chance to not be a prisoner to someone else and to let me have my own, my own stage, that I didn't have to I don't even know. I'm, I'm just lost for the words really right now. That's first. You're lost for words. Yes, because not really. It's just Chase Matthew just signed over his life. When Mr. Upchurch allowed him to be strong and independent on his own. Well, he can do that. He's a grown man. Yeah. But you just signed your life over to some peoples that do not give a shit about you. And that's only going to support you for however much you can do for them. However much money you can make for them, they will support you on that. But if you would have had, honestly, the decency. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that that was not a really good move. Because now you're the middleman. The middleman that has to work and do everything to make other people happy. When your happiness is going to go down the shitter. It will. I mean, I should be the, 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 I'm the bigger person. I am a bigger person. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. But if you get mad over the videos that people are discussing about you, Mr. Yeah, I realize in that industry, in mainstream, in the industry that, uh, that does not give a shit, the only person that's going to have your back is you, Mr. Matthew, when you had everybody for you to begin with. It's just about this, making that top dollar, that, that almighty money. Yeah, God blessed you. He sure did. But when some people are blessed, they don't, they all, and it's just greedy and selfish to want more. You'll regret it. You will regret signing your life away. I'm not going to repeat it. Is that saying that I don't like Mr. Chase Matthew anymore? And no, that's not what I'm saying. Just because, say, if somebody doesn't like somebody, if I like them, I like them. I like, I like you. I think you have a whole lot of talent. I'm nobody really to even be saying anything. I'm, I'm, I'm a nobody, but I'm somebody to me and the people that love me the closest. And that's all that matters.
But you're going to realize real quick how you don't mean anything to them. And the people that that thought you meant something to them, you'll regret doing it to them. Because, Mr. Matthew, you're only going to mean something to them if you can make money for them. And you're having to pay people that don't give a shit about you. Just what you can do for them. Over my dead body would I do that. I would much rather pay people that cared about me than to pay people that did not and does not and won't. They'll act like it. They'll act like it. But as soon as something new comes along, you'll see how much uh, you don't matter to them. Well, that's my rant for the day. Which is damn facts and common sense. You literally just shit on somebody. And here's the thing. When people get money flashed in their face, I'm going to give you $2 million to sign a contract. I don't know what the contract amount was. I don't know. Don't care. But I'm going to give you $2 million. We're going to put, we're going to make your dreams come true. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. As long as you can be at my beck and call and be my slave. Fuck that. Everybody else, y'all have a wonderful day. That was some straight up bullshit. Straight up bullshit. Enjoy. And try not to get something Ajax can't take off. Because all them fuckers are in mainstream are some fucking leeches that will suck your blood dry. And all you'll be left with is being shriveled up. Everybody else have a good one. I'll talk at you later.